Okay, I admit it. I had Fritz Springmeier's book in my computer for four years before I got up the nerve to read it. It is a dark book, not because of Springmeier's approach, but because of the subject matter. Now that I've read it, I feel it is invaluable in helping to connect the dots, to gain understanding of each day's news events. In case you're having trouble understanding exactly what mind control is, let me give you an example drawn from popular culture, the movie The Manchurian Candidate. The original version came out in 1962, with a remake in 2004. Springmeier tells us it is possible for a person, such as the main character in that movie, to be programmed for a hidden mission. And simple code words or gestures can cause him to switch personalities with no knowledge of each other. You've heard of the gruesome experiments the Nazis performed on residents of concentration camps in World War II. Dr. Joseph Mengele was one of the worst of these medical and psychological abusers. Springmeier reveals that Mengele and other Nazis came to the U.S. under Project Paperclip and continued their research here. According to the book, personalities are shattered by trauma, usually starting with sexual abuse of children from infancy. Springmeier says the process also involves occult rites, which often begin between conception and birth. It is not unusual for these so-called monarch mind control slaves to have over 1,000 separate personalities, again having little knowledge of each other. Springmeier describes the intentional development of these personalities as programming, much as is done with computers. Many of the victims have a nice front personality so that they can blend in or even assume a leadership role in society. You'll be shocked at some of the well-known clergymen, politicians, and entertainers who are identified as victims and victimizers. Springmeier names names and lists addresses. So how does he know all this? Besides traditional research methods, Springmeier relies on testimony of recovering mind control slaves, ex-programmers, and handlers. He's paid a heavy price for writing this and other books, something like eight years in prison on apparently trumped-up charges. If you've heard Springmeier on a talk show, his sincerity, gentleness, and humility are the first things you notice. After reading the Illuminati formula used to create an undetectable, total mind-controlled slave, you'll never look at the world the same way again. This is Steve Eastman reporting. Discover more stories like this one on our website, waittillyouhearthis.com.